This is Will Sands with the Taylor Creek Fly Shop here with Gink and Gasoline this evening on the Roaring Fork River in Colorado. We're awaiting a little green drake hatch this evening and in the meantime we're going to talk about dressing your flies and how to get them to float a little higher and longer, especially on a big freestone river like the Roaring Fork. So this evening we're going to kind of do the shake and bake method. Um, it's a little different about this. You probably all start off with a quell or gink. We're just going to lightly grease this fly. We fish a lot of two fly rigs here in Colorado. So I'm also going to grease my tippet between my two flies here. To our second fly here. At this point most people are ready to fish. They've got some grease on their leader and their tippet and their flies. This is kind of like making fried chicken, kind of like baking. Usually the shimazaki or your dry powder, your dry float, is done after the fly has been soaked or after the fly has been eaten a few times. Before I even get my flies wet, I'm going to dunk right into the shimazaki. Give it a good little shake here. We're going to go back. You can see how much shimazaki is stuck to that fly. This really makes the fly pretty bomb proof and ultra water repellent. And when we start off this way, we find that the shake and bake method keeps your flies floating much higher and much longer with that base of a quell, that silicone base. So we hope that you too will find that with this method that your flies will float higher and longer with less maintenance and you'll be able to fish a bit more.